When we first begin learning to count, we typically use our fingers. We count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, this works really well if we're only counting 10 objects. We could actually use our toes, which would allow us to count up to 20 objects. But if the object that we're counting it happens to be more than 20, then we either have to enlist some other fingers and toes, or we're going to have to come up with another way of counting. Now, every culture has had their own way of counting and their own um, symbols used to, uh, in counting. Some cultures have used uh, 10, 20, and even 60 symbols for th their counting. Uh, our current system, we use 10 symbols to represent any number that we really want. And those 10 symbols are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. But the question arises, why do we write our symbols the way that we do? Well, to understand the reason why we do this, we have to take a little, a little geometry lesson. First, we begin with a line. Okay? A line similar to 1. Okay? So we take this line and we can take it and turn it into a circle. Okay? If we take the circle and we divide it evenly into four equal parts, and we'll label them one, two, three, and four. If we take these parts and we rearrange them, we'll take one and three and we'll slide them opposite one another just switch places. So if we do that, then we get 1 and 3. Then we do the same thing for 2 and 4. Get 4 and 2. So as you can see, this circle has become a square. Now, the square itself can actually be divided into four uh, equal parts as well. Okay? Now, but if we take this uh, square and we divide it evenly about its diagonal, you'll notice that we get a triangle here and a triangle here. Thus, we can see that from a line, we get a circle, from a circle, we get a square, and from a square, we get a triangle. But how does this relate to our actual numbers? Well, uh, you'll learn that next. Numbers come from angles. The only shape that we know that doesn't have any angles is a circle. Thus, we get zero. Okay? We get one. because it has one angle, two, because it has two angles, three, because it has one, two, three angles. Four, because it has one, two, three, and four angles. Five, because it has one, two, three, four, five angles.
6 because it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 angles. Seven, because it has one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven angles. The number eight comes from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight angles. And finally, we have nine. Which comes from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine angles.